We could hear maybe the Canada Tribune speculating that he will run. Right. Well, I was um, at the Democratic Convention when he spoke, and it was one of those moments um, when everyone was kind of going about their business, speeches going on one after another, and when Obama started to speak, people stopped what they were doing. They didn't know who he was. He was just absolutely electrifying. Um, so he's got that going for him. He's, he's an unbelievable speaker. He really connects with people. Um, if there is there enough there, I think that is, you know, that's the big question. His race in 2004, his race for Senate, um, he was really basically totally untested. His primary opponent dropped out, um, and then, or rather his uh, general election opponent dropped out. His primary opponent had all sorts of kind of domestic abuse problems. He writes about problems. that in the book. He talks about both his yeah. primary opponent and uh, Republican challenger in the general election having divorce problems and, and other records that yeah. basically imploded their candidacy. Yeah, so it was, a, it was a cakewalk. He ran against Alan Keyes, who was a Maryland resident. So I think um, as much as people love Obama and the Democratic Party, you hear just people just amazed by him. He's, he is kind of the, the carbon copy, the opposite of Hillary Clinton. He's totally untested, whereas she has really kind of felt the fire of, of the worst that the Republicans could throw at her. So they've got a, they've got a real choice to make. It also may open up um, something for, for John Edwards to come in in the middle. Alamo, Georgia is next. I hope. I believe that American politics has become caustic and cynical and bland, and I feel that the ugliness of postmodern public life has caused many Americans to lose the habits of citizenship. He did not mince words in that interview. Um, I happen to agree with him in a lot of ways. I worked in politics for almost 10 years. And um, after my last uh, opportunity to be unemployed, uh, <laughs> three in a row, um, I, I felt like it, the system really had become so caustic. It was not an environment um, that people's kind of, honestly, the, the positive solutions and um, that uh, kind of hopeful messages were being heard. It's really drowned out a lot by 30-second uh, ads. Um, so I, he felt very strongly about that. Uh, he also said that 9-11 is what really kept him in journalism. He felt like it was a, a new opportunity to do something uh, that really mattered. And I, before 9-11, uh, before I think maybe he was feeling, a lot of people were, that politics maybe were just a, an elaborate, very expensive dog and pony show. And this, now the stakes are high. This is what the latest edition looks like, The American Interest, published uh, or edited by our guest, Patricia Murphy. And our next call is from Proctorville, Ohio. Good morning. 